We have ignition and full thrust on the RD-180. Passing 15 seconds into flight, Atlas PU has gone to closed loop control. System response looks good. And coming up on 30 seconds into flight, vehicle is a half mile in altitude, two miles downrange, traveling at 160 miles per hour. And passing 45 seconds of the flight, continuing to see good operating parameters out of the RD-180. And coming up on a minute into flight, the uh, vehicle is ending its roll maneuver, and vehicle body rates are looking good. And passing through 80 seconds into flight, uh, Mach 1, Atlas 5 is now supersonic. And vehicle is now passing through max Q, maximum dynamic pressure. And passing 100 seconds into flight, seeing the RD-180 throttle back as expected. Engine response continues to look good, and vehicle body rates continue to look good at this time. Coming up on two minutes into flight, the vehicle is now 12 miles in altitude, uh, seven miles downrange, traveling at 1,500 miles per hour. And passing 140 seconds into flight, the uh, vehicle has gone to closed loop control. Uh, continuing to see stable body rates throughout the boost phase. And RCS is now pressurizing to flight levels. And the reaction control system has reached uh, flight levels. Uh, system response looks good. Uh, vehicle body rates continue to look good as well. Um, and seeing good response out of the RD-180 engine. About uh, 3 minutes and 15 seconds into flight, vehicle is now 53 miles in altitude, uh, 67 miles downrange, traveling at 5,800 miles per hour. And now seeing the RD-180 throttle back to maintain a 5.0G uh, uh, acceleration limit. Engine response continues to look good. And we did see a good response on the Centaur systems as it completed boost phase chill down. And we have BECO, booster engine cutoff. And we have successful stage separation. And we have pre-start on the RL-10. And we have ignition for the first burn. Uh, RL-10 start parameters look good. And we have good indication of payload fairing jettison. And coming up on five minutes into flight, uh, this first burn will be about 13 minutes in duration, the first of uh, three burns for today's mission. Uh, continuing to see stable RL-10 chamber pressures at the beginning of the burn. 
and also seeing uh, stable body rates following a uh, payload fairing jettison. And seeing periodic firings out of the RCS system as it uh, warms the motor catalyst beds for operation. And seeing good response out of the PU system as it has gone to closed loop control and starting to drive mass errors down towards zero. And passing six minutes in flight, the vehicle is now 250 miles in altitude, 430 miles downrange, traveling at 9,400 miles per hour. And coming up on seven minutes into flight, uh, continuing to see stable performance across all Centaur systems, uh, stable tank pressures, good performance at a PU, and um, some minor uh, roll adjustments as uh, Centaur optimizes the telemetry link. And passing seven and a half minutes into flight, uh, initial review of boost phase performance indicates a nominal performing booster. And continuing to see good performance out of all Centaur systems. A little over eight minutes into flight, the vehicle is now 350 miles in altitude, 740 miles downrange, traveling at 9,800 miles per hour. Uh, continuing to see very stable performance out of the RL-10, uh, very stable Centaur tank pressures, and as always, good performance out of the PU system. And passing nine minutes into flight, continuing to see uh, periodic firings out of RCS. The loop and bottle RCS temperatures have converged to nominal values, so seeing good performance out of that system. And passing 10 minutes into flight, the vehicle is now 417 miles in altitude, 1,000 miles downrange, traveling at 10,500 miles per hour. 
continuing to see uh, very stable body rates throughout the burn, uh, very stable RL10 uh, chamber pressures, and very stable centaur tank pressures. and passing 11 minutes into flight, a uh, little over six minutes remaining in the burn, continuing to see uh, stable performance across all systems, very stable battery voltages and temperatures, uh, stable Centaur tank pressures, and uh, continuing uh, good performance in the PU system. And passing 12 minutes into flight, the vehicle is now 465 miles in altitude, uh, 1,300 miles downrange, traveling at 11,700 miles per hour. And we've had Miko 1, main engine cutoff. And we've had good indication of separation of the JPSS-2 spacecraft. And Centaur is now completing its uh, collision avoidance maneuver following spacecraft set. And we have main engine start two. And we have ignition for burn three. And we have Miko three. And we've had a successful separation of the payload adapter and lofted canister. And seeing some uh, minor responses in the Centaur body rates as the uh, lofted heat shield inflates. Uh, but those body rates have since nulled out and are looking very stable. And in a little under two minutes, uh, Centaur will begin to turn to the lofted separation attitude and then begin uh, spin up for lofted separation shortly thereafter. Uh, 
continuing to see uh, very stable body rates, uh, good performance out of RCS, and uh, very stable Centaur tank pressures as well. And we have successful indication of uh, separation of the lofted reentry vehicle. And seeing uh, good centaur responses as it has uh, spun down from the from the lofted roll rate and seeing those body rates stabilize follow, following separation. <laughs> 